Hello everyone. In this video, I'll be showing you how to build the Lego mech frame used in the Eastern Example mech. For the original episode where I talk about mech frames, click on the link on the screen here or in the description below. So without further ado, on with the instructions. First, we'll start off with the torso. So I take this one by two brick with two holes and I place two pins into it. So it gives me two more studs to work with. Then I take this two two by two plates, place the two one by two brick on top, take a mirror and also place it on like so. Then I take this group of four pieces, two clips, one one by two plate and a one by two plate with a rail. And what this does is it gives me more structural integrity since the arms are going to be attached to this. So the downward or the weight of the arms doesn't make it snap off the torso. Like so. And take a mirror and also place it on. That. Then I take this 1x2 plate with a 2x2 two two on the side, I'm not sure what the name is. Also, similar one with a 1x4 on the side, I'm not sure of the technical name. And then another one, but what this does is it ha uses two 1x2s to attach it on the bottom and give two studs on the bottom. And I take this 1x2 brick with two studs, or clip studs. This group of three lamp holders together like so, and I take the 1x2 brick and I attach it on the bottom of the studs. And that attaches to the torso. And that's pretty much it. Now for the arms. These are pretty straightforward. So first of all, I'd like to show off my propri proprietary hand design, which uses three minifig hands, a T-piece, and a one by one with a stud on the side. So basically the T-piece goes into the stud like so, and makes this really nice flexible hand that I use almost in all of my builds. Another one, one by one with a stud on the side to attach it. A one by two with two one by one clips and a filler piece in between. It goes on like so. Now, two one by ones with four studs with each with their own T-piece and that goes like so and clips onto the other part of the arm like that. Then you mirror that and you get two arms. And last but not least, the legs. First I take this 1x2 plate, a 1x1 one one for filler and a 1x1 one one clip with a T piece. I add a 1x2 plate again with a rail then one of these modules I showed off in the episode with three clips and a lamp holder and a T piece. Place it on like that. One by two with a clip again, trying to make it as structured as possible. Like so. Now one of these modules, another one of these modules with three one by ones with four, a one by one with a hole, and a one by one with a stud. And to finish it off, a T piece. That goes into the other T piece on the other side. And finally, the foot, one by two plate, another lamp holder, and there are two clips facing upwards. And then for the heel, one by two with a one by one on the back. And that clips, well, not that way, the other way. So, and the leg is complete. You would mirror that, and you would have all the parts to assemble a Lego mech. Now we put it all together. The last module is a one by one brick with four studs, a T piece, another one by one brick with one stud and that attaches to the torso on those two clips and now we attach the two arms that T piece on those other two clips 
and like so. You mirror that with the other arm. Now for the legs, the T-piece inserts into that brick, and the other leg, again, mirroring the other side. And with that, you would have finished your Lego mech frame. Super flexible, super poseable, and all it needs is the armor and it'll pretty much be complete. Well, this is the Lego mech frame I used in my Eastern Example mech. Hope you enjoyed building it, and if you like this type of stuff, make sure to like and share with a friend. Thanks for watching.